Ever wondered why the default color of pencil erasers is pink? It's a question that's likely crossed our minds at one point or another. We see it every day in classrooms, offices and art studios. This seemingly arbitrary color choice is actually steeped in a fascinating history, full of surprising facts and unexpected turns. And it's not just about aesthetics. The pink color of erasers has a story to tell. A story that goes back to the 19th century, when vulcanized rubber was first produced. It's a tale that involves parasites, synthetic dyes, and cultural interpretations of color. So, why is this humble stationary item, the pencil eraser, predominantly pink? What made manufacturers stick with this color even when other options became available? It's an intriguing pink mystery, isn't it? Stick around as we delve into the interesting history and reasons behind this color choice. To understand why erasers are pink, we must first understand their history. Our journey begins in the 19th century, a time of great innovation and discovery. Among the many inventions of this period was vulcanized rubber. This material, which forms the basis of the erasers we use today, was initially produced in shades of brown or gray. As we move forward in time to the Roaring Twenties, a rather peculiar change took place in the world of rubber production. Enter Hymenolipis nana, a type of parasite. The eggs of this parasite were introduced as an additive in rubber manufacturing. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would anyone add parasite eggs to rubber? Well, the answer lies in the unique property of these eggs. They imparted a natural pink color to the rubber. The addition of Hymenolipis nana eggs marked a dramatic shift in the appearance of erasers. From their original dull brown or gray, they transformed into the vibrant pink we associate with erasers today, and thus the pink eraser was born. However, as you might have guessed, using parasite eggs in rubber production was not without its issues. Hymenolipis nana is a parasite that can cause infections in humans and animals. Therefore, the inclusion of its eggs in a widely used product like erasers raised serious health concerns. This led to a significant change in the rubber industry in the 1950s. The use of Hymenolepis nana eggs was gradually phased out and synthetic dyes began to take their place. But by this point, the pink color had become so popular and so closely associated with erasers that manufacturers continued to use pink hues even in synthetic dyes. But the use of these parasites was not without its challenges. The use of Hymenolepis nana in rubber production posed health risks leading to a shift in the 1950s. Now, you might be wondering, what kind of shift are we talking about? Well, it was a shift towards synthetic dyes. As it turns out, using parasites for coloring wasn't the most health-conscious decision. Who would have thought, right? So around the mid-20th century, the rubber industry began to phase out the use of Hymenolepis nana. They turned to synthetic dyes instead, a safer alternative that didn't involve any health-compromising parasites. But here's where things get interesting. Remember how the initial use of Hymenolepis nana gave the erasers a natural pink hue? Well, by the time the switch to synthetic dyes happened, people had grown quite fond of the pink color. It had become synonymous with erasers. Manufacturers recognized this consumer preference and decided to stick with it. So they started using pink tones in synthetic dyes. This way they could continue producing pink erasers without the risk of spreading infections. It was a win-win situation. The manufacturers could maintain the popular aesthetic of their products and the consumers could erase their pencil marks without worrying about any unwanted parasitic guests. This shift to synthetic dyes wasn't just about health and safety though. It also represented a broader trend in the 20th century towards synthetic materials. As technology advanced, industries across the board began to replace natural resources with man-made alternatives. This shift had profound implications for everything from the clothes we wear to the cars we drive, and yes, even the erasers we use. But let's get back to our main story. With the shift to synthetic dyes, the rubber industry was able to continue producing pink erasers, thereby keeping the tradition alive. And that, my friends, is how the pink color managed to stick around in the world of erasers, despite the shift away from its original source. So, the pink color stuck around, but why pink? The color pink carries significant meanings and associations, which likely contributed to its continued use for erasers. 
Diving into the world of color psychology, pink is often linked to feelings of innocence, love and compassion. This makes the color particularly appealing to children, especially when used in everyday items such as erasers. Imagine a child selecting an eraser from a store shelf. The pink one, imbued with a sense of warmth and softness, is more likely to catch their eye than a dull gray or brown one. It's not just about erasing pencil marks. It's about inviting an experience filled with positivity and comfort. Pink also signifies cleanliness and hygiene, which is quite fitting for an object like an eraser. An eraser's primary function is to clean up mistakes, to clear away the unwanted and to make things neat again. And what better color to represent this function than pink? The color visually communicates the eraser's purpose before it even touches the paper, giving the user a sense of satisfaction and reassurance. Moreover, in certain cultures, pink is associated with good luck. Think about it. When you're writing or sketching and you make a mistake, you use an eraser to correct it. This act of correction, of making things right, can be seen as a form of good luck. The pink eraser then becomes more than just a tool, it's a symbol of hope, a charm that promises success in the user's endeavors. In conclusion, the pink color of erasers is far from being a random choice. It's a color that resonates with its function, appeals to its primary users, and carries a rich tapestry of meanings. The pink eraser is a brilliant example of how thoughtful design can take an everyday object and elevate it into something more, something that not only serves a practical purpose, but also tells a story. So, the pink color of erasers is not just a random choice, but one steeped in history and symbolism. The pink color of pencil erasers is now a standard that has endured for nearly a century. This little piece of stationery, often taken for granted, carries with it a rich history, steeped in innovation and symbolic resonance. Rewind a bit to the 20th century, when vulcanized rubber first came into being. This material, although originally brown or gray, formed the foundation of the erasers we use today. The shift to pink happened in the 1920s due to an unlikely source, the eggs of a parasite called Hymenolepis nana. These eggs lent the rubber a natural pink hue, forever changing the visual identity of erasers. However, these parasites had their drawbacks as they could cause infections in humans and animals. By the 1950s, their use in rubber production was replaced by synthetic dyes. Yet the popularity of the pink color had already been cemented. Manufacturers continued to use pink tones in their synthetic dyes, ensuring the legacy of pink erasers. But why did this color become so beloved? Pink, a color often associated with innocence, love and compassion, made erasers more appealing to children. It also symbolizes cleanliness and hygiene, mirroring the eraser's function of removing pencil marks. In some cultures, pink is even linked to good luck, fostering the belief that using a pink eraser could bring success. In essence, the pink eraser is not just a tool, but a symbol. It represents the evolution of materials, from vulcanized rubber and parasite eggs to synthetic dyes. It embodies the power of color psychology with its pink hue evoking feelings of warmth, cleanliness and hope, and it stands as a testament to the power of tradition, as the pink color has remained a standard for nearly a hundred years. So the next time you use a pink eraser, remember the fascinating history and symbolism behind its color.